Welcome to the Thanksgiving episode of Culture Connection. Today, we are featuring Rachel and Kimberly, our international student from Peru, cooking their favorite dishes and sharing them with each other. Hi, my name is Rachel and welcome to the series of Culture Connection. My Thanksgiving dish that I chose to make is sweet potato casserole. And it's one of my favorite Thanksgiving dishes because it's it just reminds me of home, and um, my dad actually taught me how to make it, and it's actually my grandma's recipe. And so I was able to make it last year, and I had a lot of fun making it, and so I'm excited that I got to do it again this year. So for the toppings, um, for the sweet potato casserole, we have chopped pecans, flour, melted butter, uh, brown sugar. Ooh, it's so like good! It? Yeah. Okay. First casserole and first sweet, uh, sweet potato casserole ever. I'm from Peru and the dish I did for this Thanksgiving series is Lomo Saltado. Mm, it's super super good. It's one of my favorites and it has like this mixture of Peruvian and a little bit of Chinese cultural thing uh, like me. <laughs> some of my family, some part of my family is Chinese as well. So that's a little bit why I like a lot of this dish. Um, I learned it from my mom. I actually learned it here when I learned how to cook and my mom taught me how to do it all a little bit like through FaceTime and sending me the recipe and it has been an adventure how to like learn to cook Peruvian dishes here because obviously we don't have the same ingredients but it ended up looking and tasting so so good. good. That's really good. It tastes very similar to it tastes kind of like Mexican food for me, but this reminds me of tomato basil soup. This right here. Okay. This meat. Oh, I need to try again. <laughs> this reminds me of like chili. Okay, <laughs> it's okay. It's really, really good. Yeah, being able to learn about her culture and learn all about her family and how diverse her country is, um, it's really cool to be able to learn different things um, about someone else's culture. So I appreciate our friendship. Um, like working in the international office allowed me to meet so many people that have this heart for international students and it was such a blessing to get to know her and see how she worked with the other international students as well. I was like, it's, it's, it's amazing to see that because sometimes you don't feel like it's really hard to get to that feeling of home here, but People like her makes it easier, obviously. 2020 has been a hard year, but this season gives us the opportunity to reflect on the things God has given us to be thankful for, such as still getting to have friendships with each other like Rachel and Kimberly.